Have you ever had a day where you just go, life isn't fair? Something happens to you or a series of things happen to you and all of a sudden you think the world is against you entirely. Well, don't worry, we've all been there. In a way, it's basically a fact of life that something like this is going to happen to you at some point in time. But what may surprise you is that the animals of the world also have those same issues. In fact, they often have to deal with more than us, and so when nature treats them poorly, you have to point it out. Here now are 20 animals that nature has treated unfairly. Number 20. Buck on a Buck How many of you have ever seen a deer out in the wild? Whether it be on the side of the road or in a field or near a lake, they look majestic when you saw them, right? Did you see a big buck with large antlers that you gaze at and go, I wouldn't want to be gored by that? Well, if you did, you're pretty smart, because those antlers are more than capable of killing you and other animals. And for proof of this, we head to Japan for our first mistreated animal. In a certain place in Japan, a buck would be spotted with another decapitated buck head stuck in its antlers. No, I'm not kidding, and there's a picture to prove it. And as you can see, the two heads have locked horns, but only one of those heads is connected to a body. It's pretty disgusting, and so you might rightfully be asking the question of, how in the world does this happen? Well, there are two theories that come around. The first is that these two bucks were locked in brutal combat, and one of them actually, you know, obviously won. but they were so stuck that the other one had to wait for the one to decay before its head could be removed. Now, I don't buy that one because that's a really long time to wait for something, and the living deer would have been trapped that entire time. Another and more feasible explanation could be that the buck had seen the head of the fallen buck on the ground and didn't realize that it was dead, so it charged at it to fight, locked horns, and now it's stuck. But hopefully it got free, because this is just the beginning of animal that nature has treated unfairly. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Netted Turtle there's no comedy in this entry because it deals with a real-life issue that many animals have to live through. The waters of the world are full with all manner of creatures. Some of them are hunted by fishermen. To an extent, this is fine, but what happens more times than not is fishermen actually put nets in the water and then they don't care about what they catch in them. Sometimes they even leave the nets in so that they can move on to another spot. And this is dangerous because animals get caught up in those nets, such as with this turtle that I'm about to tell you. A video would be posted in 2018 where two divers in the Maldives had found a turtle completely encased in a fishing net, and if it wasn't released, it would surely die. The two divers, Sean and Rose, saw this and jumped into action. They brought the turtle back to the boat where the crew had managed to cut the tangled net free. The captain estimated that the turtle had been struggling like that for up to four to five days, and the net had actually begun to cut into his neck. As seen in the video, the turtle swims free. However, it's very sad to imagine how much marine life gets caught in ocean pollution that aren't as lucky as that little turtle. The fact is, the turtle was so caught up in the net that it was actually slicing his neck and was painfully brutal. And that's not even nature's fault, but it's man's nature to pollute and leave things behind without fear of consequence, and that's just wrong. Number 18. Dog at Sea Another story that's rather tragic comes from 2011 when a tsunami would hit Japan and thousands of people were devastated by the large set of events. People were literally washed away, homes were wrecked in an instant, and entire areas would be consumed with volumes of water. Even weeks after the event, the effects of the tsunami could still be felt. Case in point, the Japanese Coast Guard found a dog out at sea and rescued it. But how did the dog even get there? Well, it was washed up by the tsunami, which immediately 
immediately makes this a super dog because it shouldn't have been able to survive, and yet it did. In fact, it lasted three weeks out at sea before the Coast Guard had actually found it. Now, before you think, how did it last out on the water for so long? Well, part of that was because of the location out at sea. It was not in the open ocean. It likely would have died in a day or two, depending on how long its energy reserves lasted. Rather, this dog was on top of a house that had also been washed out to sea. A helicopter flew by and spotted the dog on the roof and then went to make a rescue attempt, but the dog was scared by the craft. And so the helicopter signaled to a boat who then got the dog and brought him to safety at last. The look of the dog in the rescue picture is enough to make you glad that it got to safety. And again, it's a miracle that the canine lasted that long out on the open water. Even with it being able to hide from the sun by going into the house, that wouldn't have been the easiest thing to do to survive. But the dog lived, and really, that's all that matters. Number 17. Stuck in the Mud now, as I'm sure some of you can attest to, sometimes the most difficult things to accept are the ones that you've been put into a situation that feels random, and now you just can't get out of it. So imagine that you're an animal, and all of a sudden you go from being upright and fine to being stuck in a pile of mud. A horse known as Cupcake and her owner would be riding on a pathway at Cherry Creek State Park near Denver one afternoon when they ventured into a more rural area. Already tired from the ride, Cupcake then fell into knee-deep water and couldn't get out. If any of you have watched The NeverEnding Story, then you know how bad that can get. It can actually be fatal if something isn't done immediately. Her owner would call for help, refusing to leave the horse's side, showing the love and dedication that they had for the animal. But thankfully, park rangers were nearby, and they helped the pair out. At first, they just tried to pull the horse out themselves, but it didn't work. And given the size of the horse, this isn't that odd of a thing. And so that's when they called in a rescue crew to help sort out the situation. One of the ironies of this moment was that they were able to share it online via pictures due to the rescue victim being an animal and not a human. The horse was able to be kept alive and was very grateful to the fire people for helping out. Another irony is that right after the rescue, the team was called away to help with a fire. Number 16. It's Snow Joke now, I've shown you plenty of ways already how nature can stick it to animals who aren't in the right position to get away themselves, and we'll look now about how snow would almost take the life of a goat. For the record, this situation didn't begin out the way that you would think. A pair of Austrian Federal Railway workers were clearing snow from the tracks when a goat suddenly showed up. An odd occurrence, but not exactly unheard of. It bounded onto the tracks as the snow plow was heading towards it, but don't worry, it didn't get hit. A much different occurrence happened. When the snow plow got closer, it jumped off to the side, and the plow passed on, dumping the snow on top of the goat up to its horns. And if you've seen how much a snow plow can clear as it goes by, then you know that the snow it can dump can be thick and heavy. So that goat was literally buried alive. Thankfully, the duo jumped into action and tried to get the goat out. They made sure to move away the snow and not hurt the animal in the process. And after some effort, the goat was able to get free and then ran away. This is a perfect example of nature being cruel in many ways, as it was already pretty bad outside due to the snow, and then the goat just so happened to get into a position that it would be buried alive. And then the only reason it got out was because of the help of a pair that saw it get buried in the first place. It was definitely not the goat's day, but then again, in the end, it was alive, and that's what matters. Number 15. Berry. I'm going to try to keep my composure for this next one, but it will be difficult, because what happened here is not only cruel, but was also inhumane. And yes, it was caused by a human, showing once again how human nature doesn't care about others more times than not. In Tucker, Georgia, a man named Eric Perdue was going through the area when he saw something that he didn't expect. It was a pair of eyes. Now, usually this is the beginning of a story of a man getting attacked by an animal or running for his life, but not this time. 
because those eyes were from a dog, one that had been buried up to its head in dirt by someone. Yes, someone had actually buried this dog alive and then left them there. Like I said, it's hard to keep my composure when talking about something like this. Not hesitating for one moment since he realized what was going on, Eric rushed to the dog and began to dig it out. Eric began to offer words of affirmation and was actually able to get the help of some others nearby, taking 30 minutes to dig the dog out of the dirt. That's how completely buried she was. And then once she was free, he took her home with his family and watched over her every minute. Sadly, the story does not get a happy ending. Despite being freed, she died the next day when Purdue took her to the animal hospital. A $15,000 reward would then be put into place to find the monster who did it, and nobody knows if that person was ever found. Number 14. Potted Leopard after the last story, we could all use a palate cleanse. Something that needs to be noted about animals is that like humans, they're actually curious. They know their surroundings well, but if they find something that they're not sure about or are curious about, they'll go and investigate that thing, even if it means sticking their heads in places that they really shouldn't be. For example, a male leopard spent five hours with its head stuck in a metal pot in a village in northern India, and it's not as funny as it sounds, especially when you look at the pictures that showcase just how stuck that it was. The pot is all the way around its head, and it would be kind of adorable if I didn't know that the leopard was actually in trouble. Naturally, the people of the village took the opportunity to make some videos and shoot pictures of the leopard as it wandered around helplessly. Wildlife officials eventually tranquilized the leopard and used a saw to remove the pot from its head, and it was then given a clean bill of health and moved on afterward. It's almost weird to think that animals like leopards would do such a comedic thing, but like I said, it didn't know any better, and as a result, it got its head stuck for the whole world to see and take pictures of. Number 13. Abandoned Calf now sadly I have another tragic story to tell you, but this one is absolutely another showing of the dark side of man's nature. You see, a concerned person would be driving down the road when they noticed that there was a calf abandoned alongside it. Thinking quickly, they called up Animal Aid Unlimited to help save the creature, and when the team arrived, they found Dill the calf still wet with embryonic fluid, shaking with fear on a rocky shoulder of the road. Now, that fluid line is important to note here because it means that the mother had just given birth to it, and then it was abandoned. And we all know the stories featuring animal parents doing all they can for their babies, but there's a flip side to that. Abandonment does happen, and it sometimes gets pretty ugly. But that's where the sad twist comes in, because as the animal aid people would find out, this calf wasn't abandoned by its mother. Rather, his mother was part of a dairy farm, and she got pregnant. So then, when the calf was born, the owner tossed away the calf because it wouldn't be able to provide money for them, and the milk was for paying customers only. Which is just plain cruel. If that person hadn't seen the calf and called the rescue team, it would have died in no time flat. But thankfully, it was taken to a sanctuary, where the calf was then given their first taste of milk. It's sad that it had to come to that after such an experience, though. Number 12. Frozen Fox the next one is a bit complicated because it features an animal who should have known better, nature closing its grip around said animal in a horror movie-like way, and man exploiting that for his own profit. Back in 2017, a series of blizzards would rock Europe. It was really bad, and it cost dozens of people their lives, and among that tally, we can add one fox. This fox fell into a river and then was frozen solid in a way that's both comical and scary, because if it could have happened to a fox, well, then it could also happen to you. The fox would be found by a hunter who naturally was a bit surprised to find it so frozen like that, and though he also said that animals had fallen into the frozen Danube River in the past, including deer and boar. So what happened next? Well, as these pictures will show you, the hunter cut the fox out of the river and then put it on display. But where? Well, by his family's hotel, of course. He claimed that he did it to warn of the dangers of falling into the river, which is a fair point to a certain extent, but did you really have to display the entire fox? It's like a creepy lawn ornament. And when it comes to animals versus nature, this one got outfoxed. Number 11. Bogged Down 
Now I'm not quite sure what to think about the next one, mainly because it seems to be a case of scientists being a bit too curious versus helping an animal in need. In a former wetlands area in Australia, a dry season had left a creek bed completely bare. Enter a crocodile whom many think was searching for food and water, but instead the croc found itself bogged down in a mud hole, one that was just too deep and big for it to get out of immediately. That crocodile would stay in that mud hole for a month, and so where does the scientists come in? Well, Brian Ross, an ecologist, would find the croc and set up a camera to monitor its movements to see what it would do. He also revealed why the area was the way that it was. He said that there was mud that was dried on top, but it's insulated and has kept it wet underneath. The black soil just becomes gluey, greasy, and soupy. He noted that the croc's weight was apparently too much, and so it went through and got stuck. When Ross arrived, he wasn't sure if the croc was alive or not, but it was, so he let it be and allowed it to do its survival thing, as he noted. Eventually, the rainfall came down and the croc got out. No thanks to the humans that are getting some fame off of its misfortune, though. Human nature just strikes again. Number 10. A Tired Giraffe Remember the jaguar with a pot on its head? Well, this is like that, though a little bit different. Animal rescue people would find themselves looking at a giraffe that somehow put its head through a tire, and then that tire worked its way down its neck until it was nestled right against the base of its body. While this is funny to an extent in a cartoon-like way, there was a real threat and danger here as well. The tire was so tightly fit on the giraffe that it was actually causing damage to its body. Plus, the giraffe was not used to that extra weight on its frame, so it was exhausting it as it moved around. After successfully sedating the creature, the team worked expertly and efficiently to remove the unwanted necklace. Once free, they then carefully woke up the giraffe and set it free. Number 9. Jupiter the Lion one of the things that humanity has learned over time was that putting animals in a circus setting is bad for the animals. At times, they would be treated terribly, and that's why groups have tried to end animal participation in such things. Jupiter the lion was an animal that was abused by a circus and then would be rescued by a woman named Anna Julia. <laughs> However, after being rescued, the lion went to a zoo that also mistreated it to the extent that it lost half its body weight, and that could have been fatal. But thankfully, thanks to Anna, she stepped in again and helped the lion to get rescued again and then be taken to the Cali Zoo where it was nursed back to health. As a bonus, she would also be nearby to treat it like it should. It's sad that the lion had to go through two different kinds of abuse, but in the end, it seems to have had a happy ending. Number 8. Dog in Frozen River now, this one's not going to end like the fox story. A black Labrador named Hardy had somehow ended up in a frozen river. While it was alive, it was very much stuck, and every minute that passed got closer to death. A rescue team would be called in, and a special inspector risked their own life to get across the river to get to Hardy. And once there, they used an ice pick to break apart the ice just enough to get the dog out. That's when they used another tool to pull the dog to shore. After that, the dog would be taken care of in terms of warmth before being returned to its owner. And again, if that dog had stayed out much longer than it did, it might have been a much different story in the end. Number 7. Plastic Duck when it comes to ducks, geese, and other birds of nature, they face many different threats thanks to human pollution. One of the most common and damaging is getting oil on their wings, and as that's going to restrict their flight. Another danger is garbage. Glenda McGuire can attest to that fact. She was out by a lake when she saw a group of ducks flock upon it. Now normally this would have been fine, but instead she actually realized that there was danger afoot. She went to get her camera because it had a great zoom on it, and that's when she noticed that there was plastic on the beak of a duck that was trying desperately to get it off. If not obvious, a duck with a fastened beak can't survive. She did try to get to it, but the flock kept getting away, and then just one day later, the duck volunteered itself and the plastic would be safely removed. Number 6. Sloth Save 
In Panama, a sloth was found in the most unusual of positions, clinging to rocks and sticks in order to not fall into a river. It's not known how the sloth ended up in the river, but it was apparently swept downstream until it was able to find something to cling on to. Once it got to that point, it just remained there until a group of passerbys noticed the sloth and then rushed to its rescue. They gave it another stick to hold on to and then used that to pull the sloth in and ensure it was safe. Sloths do get a bad rap because of their slow nature, but if that one didn't grab onto those items quickly, it may have well died. Number 5. Nigel Now, finding a mate in the real world of human beings can be difficult enough, but it's also quite difficult in nature. Take for example the late bird known as Nigel. Nigel was a gannet who lived on an island that was full of birds that were concrete. The island of Mana didn't have a good animal population, so the people there put up decoys to lure animals into living there. That's where Nigel comes in because he was more than happy to do that, and then he fell in love with one of the decoys, even going through his natural mating ritual with it in order to show his affection. Obviously it wasn't returned in kind, and Nigel died a bachelor, but not for lack of trying. Number 4. Cat in a Tree one of the classic rescue scenarios is that of a cat being stuck in a tree. Most cats can honestly free themselves from that situation, but there are times when they need a little help, such as with this cat who was stuck in a tree for five days. It took about three dozen neighbors, friends, and animal rescue volunteers along with strangers to work together and try a half a dozen methods. That included the use of tall ladders, baskets, and catnip to get him down safely. Now, just to be clear, the cat, known as Hank, was in a tree 60 feet tall. The owner of the cat had not realized something was wrong until almost a day had passed and they had not seen the cat. Then they heard its cries and found it up in the tree. And getting it down was no small feat, but as mentioned, the cat was saved and the owner was grateful. Number 3. Killer Bees there are some people who do not think that you can die from a bee sting short of an allergic reaction. Those people would be wrong, as there are bees that are known as killer bees that will swarm a person in such numbers that their stings would eventually kill you. And if it can kill a person, well, it can also kill an animal. So now we take you to Arizona, where the killer bee population is known to thrive, and where a swarm attacked a 1,000-pound hog for two hours until it eventually died. The farmer who owned the hog went out three times to hose it down, and the very last time when the farmer called its name, it lifted its head, flicked its ears, and then that was the end. To further sell you on how bad this was, those bees came from a hive of 250,000 members. So just imagine getting swarmed by that and trying to make it out alive. Number 2. Blazing Rabbit now I'll talk about a creature that was saved from certain death. Back in 2017, the wildfires in California were spreading so far that neither man nor animal could fully escape its grasp. One man experienced this firsthand, and he was trying to get out of the path of the fire when he noticed that a rabbit was rushing into its burning habitat. With no protection outside his basic clothing, the man raced to the habitat and did everything he could to try and save it. Eventually, the rabbit went right into his arms, and he carried it to safety. To further prove just how heroic he was, after the deed was done, he didn't want to take an interview to talk about it. Real heroes don't need to brag about what they did, because their actions speak louder than their words. Number 1. The Poacher Snare Rangers at a game reserve in northern South Africa caught two poachers in early April of 2019 after spotting the intruders on hidden cameras. The poachers were attempting to set up traps that would catch animals for them to kill and then profit off of. That alone is cruel and worthy of this list. However, after the rangers would search the area where the traps had already been set, they came across a wildebeest, one whose neck was completely wrapped in a snare wire, something that could have been fatal if the team didn't act immediately. They held the creature down and then carefully removed the wire, and the wildebeest was able to make it to its feet and run along just fine. That's all from the realm of nature and how animals get abused in the worst of ways. Were you saddened by the fact that these animals all had to deal with these excruciating things? And which of them did you feel the worst for? Is there another example of an animal being mistreated that could be on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on 
on the screen, and I'll see you next time.